that's this. Do, do, do. Um, I'm Andy. I don't know what that just was, whether it was an attempt at a theme song, even though I already have like an intro strum on the guitar, I'm not really quite sure. But either way, here I am. We are driving through Launce. Um, have some family history here, so that's fun. There's lots of sights to see in Launce. Um, it's got some beautiful water up front, some nice parks. I've had some fun times dining at some of the restaurants here. Notably, Hilltop is coming up on our left here in a second, so I can see if I look at your screen that uh, actually you can see uh, out the window, which is good. I can set it up that way. So look out here. Uh, now, that's Hilltop. Um, they have cinnamon rolls as big as your head, actually. It's insane and borderline unhealthy. Um, no, no, it, you know, it is unhealthy, but they're uh, fun. The cinnamon rolls are really big. You get one, you've got breakfast for a week, so no, that's cool. Um, yeah. So now we're driving out of Lance. Yes, this is episode four. Hopefully you guys have been well. Um, we're actually driving to Iron Mountain right now. I don't know, I feel like my mom might call at some point. If that happens, uh, I should probably talk to her. Um, it's had to say that she ranks over you guys, my hierarchy. Um, unless, of course, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking. I feel like there's a way that I could dig myself a hole here, and I'm not going to. Um, digging a hole is okay when I'm with my friends, and I know that uh, it's not a problem, but perhaps I shouldn't dig as many holes uh, recorded online. So, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so we're driving. I'm gonna drink some more iced tea. Oh. We discussed car things a while back. Another car thing that you'd love to know is, ha, uh, yeah, the muffler is going. My car is now quite loud. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it, I think it's the muffler. So that's too bad. There's a lot of cars in this lane. Interestingly enough, I'm glad that I don't have to deal with them. That's the thing. When you live in like a vacation place. If you want to go anywhere on the weekends, perfect, because everyone's going to where you live. So you just, uh, you avoid the flow of traffic. It's awesome. Anyways. Do you guys wear a watch? Maybe, maybe not. And a second question for you, kind of maybe defining the episode, I don't know. Do you like analog? So I'll say, I really like analog. Very big fan of analog watches. But I love the utility of smartwatches. In fact, recently I purchased a new smartwatch. Um, I had an Apple Watch Series 3 no cell for quite a long time. Um, and, it, and it worked fairly well for my purposes-ish sometimes. It's not really meant for hiking. And I do a ton of hiking and outdoor sports. I had to charge it every morning. And if I had a full day of hiking, I'd be worried that it wouldn't make it through the day. Um, I would need to charge it every morning. If I was backpacking, I would uh, be charging it off of my battery every morning. Um, and that's kind of a pain. Uh, and it's a pain if the charger doesn't quite work and then it's like I'm ready to hit the trail, but my watch didn't charge, but I kind of want to use it for like GPS. It's a whole thing. So I recently bought a Garmin Instinct Solar I don't know how well you can see. Um, but it's been really good. Uh, it, it's a step down in a lot of ways from an Apple Watch Series 3. I believe they came out around the same time. Um, whereas the Apple Watch can, uh, you can talk on the phone, it has great speakers. The Instinct, none of that. The Apple Watch you can load music onto. The Instinct, you don't, can't do that. Um, the Apple Watch, has tons of apps and watch faces. Uh, you have very little choice on the Instinct. 
the Apple Watch has a color screen. The Instinct has only two colors, black and white. But, this is a big but, for the things that I do, it's a ton better. The screen is always on, which is awesome. Um, the Apple Watch that I had did not have an always on screen. Um, this is a paper white screen. Uh, I don't know if that's technically what it's called, but basically uh, it's got a really cool technology behind it, which I won't uh, get into now because I'll get distracted and forget what I was talking about. But it's really easy to read, even in bright sunlight. It has a backlight, which is nice. Um, it has a three uh, axis compass. So its compass is really good uh, and very accurate, which is awesome, especially for a watch that's uh, ahead of the league. Um, it's got great GPS uh, networks. The axis is three different GPS constellations. Uh, so that's awesome. Oh man. And it's got great uh, tracking for a lot of different things. Oh, and did I mention that the battery life is absolutely insane? Um, <laughs> my Apple Watch lasted uh, a day and a half, maybe two, if I was nursing it. This Instinct lasts 24 days just doing normal smartwatch things. It can last 24 hours uh, in sport mode tracking, which is really good. Um, and it has expedition modes that let it last for much longer. In expedition mode, it only puts down a GPS pin every, I don't know, hour. Um, but if you're just through hiking a trail, that's okay. Overall, I'd say it's a really good watch. Um, and for what I'm doing, sorry, it's, it's really, it's really prime. It's good. Um, it has these tiny little speakers that make these nice little beeps that I just find so cute. Uh, like if I trigger a, well, I won't, I won't worry about it now because I'm driving, but it's got very cute beeps. So for exercising and uh, what I do, it's better. But I don't know that I'd recommend it for most people. But for me, it's better. So that's awesome. If you want to buy an Apple Watch, let me know. I'm selling. It's in uh, good condition. trivia question. Um, I once sliced my eyebrow. Okay. Hopefully that's not too graphic for some viewers. Um, you know, this is, this is a big mess, big mess. You can imagine what kind of a mess results when you slice your eyebrow. But the trivia question is, what did I slice my eyebrow with um, accidentally? Okay. Uh, do you want me to give you like choices? We'll do choices. A, was I uh, at work last week working on an engine and I leaned down and cut it on a flywheel, not a spinning one, just a stationary one. B, was I working really hard on homework, fell asleep, and landed on my Pentel P207 mechanical pencil. C, C, was I yo-yoing in front of a large group of people at my church uh, and had the yo-yo get tangled and bounce and slice my face? Or D, was I drinking tea out of a metal mug um, in the car and got into a rear-end accident in which I smacked my face with a metal mug and cut my uh, eyebrow? Do you need those choices again? I hope you don't. Um, because the ones I made up, I will have a hard time remembering. Ready? Drum roll. It's C. I cut my uh, eyebrow yo-yoing, in fact, uh, in front of a bunch of people at my church. Bleeding everywhere. Very awkward. I don't yo-yo as much anymore. Um, not because of that horrible accident. <sighs> but it's just been hard to get into. Um, you know, I hope to get back into it 
as I get older, the hobbies that I fall in and out of seem to be the same hobbies. Um, so that's good. I really like that. The things that I'm doing, I like, and I would like to stay in them. Uh-huh. Growth is a thing, but also I want to get back into yo-yoing someday, so. Um, but uh, it's not without its fair share of danger, that's for sure. Some hobbies, though, are uh, questionably dangerous. For instance, mountain biking. I love mountain biking, but I don't know how long I'll do it. It's quite dangerous. Um, I know a lot of people that have really gotten hurt mountain biking. So, you know, maybe it's six of one, half dozen of another. Like, what? I, I, I don't know if it's really worth the amount of trouble I put into staying safe versus staying healthy, right? Like, does it matter if I eat this slice of pizza or not? Does it matter if I mountain bike or downhill ski? Or does the lifestyle itself compensate for, you know, like, whatever? But, I don't know. I'm not so sure about mountain biking in the long term. Same as downhill skiing, it's not that safe. <laughs> if you're responsible, it is. I guess I just need to not send it off jumps, but. Anyways. the other day. It was okay. I, uh, well, I don't know whether I want my glasses on or off. I don't know. Oh, yes. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. I asked you if you liked analog. You've probably noticed something about my wrist. I have two watches on. Um, you're probably like, why does he have two watches on? Those some speed bumps, don't worry. Well, I'll tell you, I uh, really like reading analog. So I did all that talking about smartwatches. But the fact of the matter is, I don't like telling time from them. <laughs> I, I just don't, it doesn't feel very good. Um, you know, I really like how an analog watch looks. Just the little hands moving around, time being uh, an angle in space, like a distance, you know, instead of being a number. It's hard for me to conceptualize numbers, which is perhaps a distressing thing for an engineer to say. But I think it's pretty human as well. Most people would rather see their car speed as a dial instead of as a number. Um, and I would say it's the same for me. I, I say most people. I'm not actually sure if that's the case. Some people really do like numbers better, and that's fascinating to me. That's not how my brain works, and that's okay. So. Oh, oh man, episode's getting long. <laughs> I should stop saying that, but whatever. Um, it's been good to drive with you guys today, though. I'm just going to keep on trucking, notably not in a truck, but, you know, um, this has been good, I have been, uh, I've been Andy, this has been Traveling Aways, you've been awesome, you've been good, I swear that's from something, I don't know what it's from, anyway, I will talk to you guys again, uh, in the next episode, until then, uh, drive safe, be careful, and, uh, yeah. Cheers.